Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Running Gun Sniper here with my first video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Chromium OS. Chromium OS is a really cool Linux based operating system because it's basically just the Chrome web browser on steroids. You can install most of your everyday applications and save whatever files you want, but the thing that makes it unique is that instead of saving to your hard drive, it saves straight to the internet so you can have your stuff wherever you go. There are different builds of Chromium but the best and most popular one is Flow by Hexe. There are two versions of Flow. One is the regular version and the other one is the vanilla version. The vanilla version is better because it updates constantly and it runs a bit faster. However on my computer when I try to boot vanilla from a flash drive it freezes my computer completely at the splash screen and I can't even open my BIOS setup. So I have to use the regular version when I dual boot it on my computer. I recommend that you try the vanilla version first and if it doesn't work the regular one should. Now to download Chromium go to chromeos.hexe.net and scroll down to download links and click download a newer USB image then click on USB but if you don't have a flash drive or you want to run it in Windows just to check it out click on VMware I'm going to be using VMware so I don't have to use a camera to record while booting once you've downloaded it you are going to need WinRAR to open it and I'll have a link in the description for that and the rest of the stuff you need Okay, so once you got the stuff downloaded, um, extract it and find the USB image file and open up Windows Image Writer. And it's going to give you this error most likely. Uh, it doesn't mean anything, it's just for... Uh, floppy drives so just ignore that just push ok and once you're here you want to have your flash drive plugged in and you can tell which uh, drive it's in by going to computer and then as you can see mine's drive F and so you go to here and you go drive F and then you browse for the USB image file. Here it is. Uh, and click save. And then you just click write. Okay, so once you got the image written to the flash drive, you're going to want to um, shut down your computer and depending on the type of computer you have uh, the you want to go to your BIOS setup so if you have a Dell I know the the key to enter the BIOS setup is F2 but um, I think HP is F10 uh, but you want to look for something that says boot sequence or boot order or something like that and you just want to put the USB in the first order. You want to put that first. Now, if you want to use VMware, it's a little bit easier. All you have to do is go to the extracted files you downloaded. And you click on this file right here. And since I've already done this, um, I just click on resume this virtual machine but you would click on power on this virtual machine and it would ask you for this file right here all you have to do is direct it to that file and it should start up just fine okay so this is what it looks like when you first boot it up um you have to have internet access to even get it going so make sure you have that um, I've never been able to get wireless working, but it might just be my network adapter, so if it works for you, that's great. 
If it doesn't, then you have to be connected through Ethernet. Um, if you're using VMware, um, it takes a while for uh, the connection to be bridged to uh, Chromium, so you have to wait a couple minutes for it to bridge the connection. And so I have Ethernet connected here, so and if you want to, if you're using VMware and you want to switch between Windows and Chromium, all you have to do is press Control Alt and that will switch you between the two operating systems. So push continue here. Next, it's going to ask you to log into your Google account. Uh, if you don't have one, you can just press create a Google account. But I'm just going to type in mine. And click sign in. And it it lags a little bit, but it's that's because you're running it on a live image. So whenever you do that, it's always going to lag a little bit. So um yeah. Next, it's going to bring you to uh, your icon for your account. Um, just click whatever you want. Uh, I'll just click this one. And then push OK. OK, so here it is. Um, the first thing you'll notice is that there's no desktop, and it brings you straight to uh, Chrome web browser and I'm not quite sure what this thing is it's just a thing to sync your mouse I think I'm not sure but uh, yeah it's just basically a web browser this is my first time using Chromium with VMware and I'm noticing that the screen is too big to fit in the VMware window and it doesn't fit to it so you have to press control alt every single time you want to move around the screen so that kind of sucks but anyways um, if you want to know how to change your theme you go to this little wrench in the corner here and you click on settings And then control alt again um, and then personal stuff and then you click get themes and then it brings you here um, and you can also get a few apps from this Chrome Web Store. Um, it's pretty useful, but they got some cool themes on here. And if you want to know how to use Terminal, it's Control Alt T. And there you go. And this concludes my tutorial on how to get Chromium OS. I would really appreciate it if you would email me um, video ideas um, so I can make some more videos. Um, my email will be in the description and thank you for watching.